hopefully at least. So, alright. It's going to be a race here. Obviously we want to play first. Uh, this looks okay, I guess. We'll keep this. So this 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 match always comes down to being basically a race. Of course, that's good for us. Um, we'll open up with a uh, turn one arcade focus. This was a nice thing to have. Definitely want the hypnoscientist. Now he can answer the hypnoscientist, but um, I think I want to get some some aggression going. Scarns and stuff like that. Luckily, we have an answer. We have the answer for Kindling Scarn. I kind of want him to spend some uh, resources on that Kindling Scarn, so I'm just going to go ahead and bury my scientist here to make him think about what's going to have to happen there. We can still, even if he levels the Kindling Scarn up, like we can still burn it to kill it, so it's not too much of an issue. Is good for me. Probably time ripple the Sun Soul Phoenix. So that should deal with that. It's gonna make it really hard for him to replay. We've got the we got the answers. So we'll wait for his turn. We'll do it on his turn. Yeah, yeah, he can't counter here. So I don't think he's playing Sapphire to, to play counters anyways. Probably should have burned on my turn, actually. And then just time rippled on his. Because he could pump this guy out of range. In response to my burn. Bond. Well, that's nice. Does it do t double damage? No, apparently not. Yeah, I should have burned in my turn. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Four here. And we'll burn his Kindling Scar in here. Actually, we're going to bolt the Kindling Scarn here. That way I have burn open for the next time if he replays his, uh, his uh, Phoenix. I have, I have burn open for that. Plus, it makes it easier for me to play my Rocket Bolt. Anarchist, okay. So we will kill the Anarchist here. I don't want him drawing ex any extra cards to play that, that Phoenix. The Phoenix costs seven. He's not going to be able to replay it anytime soon. So we should have. We should be right where we need to be to, to finish out this game, I think. I think we've, we've seen the worst of it. If you can replay the Phoenix, we're in really bad shape. Oh boy. That might be a problem. I don't know what that is. 
is. I think that's the, um, whatever you call it, guy. shows up. That might be... Oh, that might just be a, uh... I thought it was a, uh... I thought it was gonna be, um, what's it called? A, uh... The Sapper, or whatever guy. Alright, so the Eldritch Dreamer... Alright, so... Those would be a little bit too slow for us. Basically anything that's ridiculously slow we have to get rid of here. This is probably better than some of these other things. So I'm just gonna get rid of Azure Fate. Alright, let's go with that. That may have been a bad choice, but we'll see. I think this is just one of those things where we, we just gas him out and then he just is not a threat anymore. Basically. Of course, we have a low amount of threats now, but... This is okay. This isn't great, but we'll, we'll be okay with this. Mentalist plus Buccaneer seems like a really good thing to have with this deck. Basically, that's what we're running. That's like our aggression is Mentalist and Buccaneer. That's, that's our aggressive forces for this, this deck. Uh, one of them dodges Heat Wave, the other one doesn't. Ooh, that's no good. Down to five for him. We'll go ahead and keep this hand. Our game focus. We do need one resource here, so there is that. Oh, there we go. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, I'm going to go with the Time Ripple here. So I feel like having more removal is going to be better for this matchup than less. Basically, we want to time ripple the phoenixes. We don't want to kill those. He has to two for one these mentalists unless he. Well, I guess he could crackling bolt them. Fire. Well, that's not good. got a mentalist coming down next turn, so that's fine. I think we're okay. We're not gonna draw crazy cards right away. We can time ripple it later. He's 
got another crackling bowl. <laughs> Yeah, if we time ripple, he just replays it, so I'm not really seeing that as being a thing. I want to save that for his Phoenix. Man, he's got the crackling bolts and spades. So I'm just going to play out the Buccaneer because we need to start getting aggressive here. Arcane Focus doesn't count as a I draw. He probably has removal for this Buccaneer. Nope, I guess not. He ran out. I ran him out! Catching up now. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, burns and time and stuff, so pretty good. Top decking all kinds of shards there. Rage fire one of my guys, I'm sure. Time ripple our own buccaneer, or we can time ripple any number of things. Keep in mind, higher. I feel okay with about this match right now. We're catching up. something. Okay. Get the resource so we can play our uh, champion ability. Get more combat so we don't lose our mentalist to that. Swing with Buccaneer because I think that it might be, uh, yeah, Fisher Smith. Kind of figured. That's fine. Second main phase heat wave. Fisher Smith. And next turn, we can draw some more cards. We still have time ripple if we need it. have him on this following turn. If he just plays a Mind Pyre here, then it's basically over. So 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't even have to swing with the rock elemental, so I won't even chance it. Because that would have been too much damage anyways. And bolt to the face. And burn. I made a good choice. Good choices on that one, siding in properly for that one. So that felt pretty good. Um.